I must strongly disagree with the resolution resolved that the United States should significantly increase its use of nuclear power because the harms of increasing nuclear power outweigh any benefit to nuclear power. Anyway, the first harm is the risk of accidents in nuclear power plants. Carl S. Coughlin, associate Pre professor of law, <coughs> associate professor of law, Pace University wrote on November 17, 2006, every operating nuclear power plant possesses some risk of a severe accident, including an uncontrolled nuclear reaction that leads to a core meltdown and potentially huge releases of radioactivity into the environment. The nuclear industry estimates the chances of a severe reactor accident to be about one out of every 10,000 reactors years of operation. Nuclear power plants are very complex and contain a lot of components that can go wrong. When they do go wrong, they are often much harder to fix than there are other types of power plants. The second harm is that nuclear power is expensive. Christian Schrader Fretchett wrote that since 1949, the U.S. government has provided about $165 billion in sub subsidies to nuclear energy, about $5 billion to solar and wind together, and even less to energy efficiency programs. All government efficiency programs to encourage us to fuel efficient cars, for example, or to provide financial assistance so that low-income citizens can insulate their homes currently receive only a small percentage of federal energy monies. After energy or efficiency programs, rather, uh, wind is the most cost-effective way to both generate electricity and to reduce greenhouse emissions. It costs about half as much as atomic power. Our current economy already needs help. Prices in general are going up. Nuclear power is more expensive than any other alternative option, and if we increase nuclear use, we, can, we won't explore alternative powers that's not only cheaper but more efficient. <clears throat> the third harm is that nuclear power is a danger to national security. Christian Schrader Freshett wrote that the government admits that Al-Qaeda already has targeted U.S. reactors, none of which can withstand an attack by large airplanes. Such an attack, warns the U.S. National Academy of Sciences, could cause fatalities as far as away as 500 miles and destruction 10 times worse than that caused by the nuclear accident at Chernobyl in 1986. Terrorists are already targeting the nuclear reactors that we have now. More reactors give them more targets, and if we're dependent on them for energy, it could be devastating. The first benefit for not increasing nuclear power is that more money will go into alternative energy. Armory Lovins, <coughs> sorry, Armory Lovins, uh, chair and chief scientist, Rocky Mountain Institute, stated on March 12, 2008, far from undergoing a renaissance, nuclear power is conspicuously falling in the marketplace. For the same forgotten reason, it, it failed previously. It costs too much and it bears too much financial risk to attack private risk capital, despite federal subsidies now approaching or exceeding its total cost. Fortunately, the decentralized competitors don't have these problems. Uh, despite much smaller subsidies and often tall barriers, the low and no carbon distributed resources dismiss, nah, sorry, dismissed by the nuclear industry are uneconomical, impractical, and trivial are actually producing more electricity worldwide than nuclear, are growing tens of times faster, and have tens of times, nu tens of times nuclear's market share. Specifically, micropower, co-generation co plus distributed renewable, co-generation plus distributed renewable, now produces a sixth of the world's electricity, more than nuclear. At least a third of the world's new electricity from one-sixth to more than one-half of all electricity in a dozen industrial countries <coughs> U.S. wise, just four percent. Mega what? Megawatts electricity saved by. That's why I urge a con ballot. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> ballot. 